Hello fellow YouTubers. Um, I recently started making some uh, guitar FX pedals. Um, but suddenly I found that I would need a nice LFO for modulating the effects. And so I, I went to Google and tried to find a proper schematic, but all of the workable schematics, we, I mean, all of them use this uh, Hex Schmidt trigger inverter, which is the 4006. <coughs> But this is a digital integrated circuit, and I I would like to do it all analog. So I started from the basics, and I um, took a simple sine wave generator with with two OPMs and uh, and um, modified some values of components and and. Uh, Finally, I got a very nicely oscillating LFO. Uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at it. So, it starts from here to the right. Um, it has a vir virtual ground here for uh, the common ground and uh, minus uh, 4.5 volts and then plus 4.5 volts. Um, yeah, so there is the two OPMs, and um, as you can see, uh, there are a lot of capacitors in the circuit. These are just buffers. Uh, Um, yes, the main point of the circuit is the the resistance between the two OPMs, and uh, and that modifies the frequency of the oscillation. I think that this. Um, this uh, period is is about five seconds, so it's a uh, 0.2 hertz. Um, and and it's with um, three and a half mega ohms between the two amps, and you can lower that, and and and, and then you you get um, a faster oscillation, yeah, and it's very close to sine wave. Of course, it's not sine wave. It's very hard to um, obtain. Yeah, that's all. And um, with this uh, signal, I will modulate a filter. And and you can. You can change this uh, resistor uh, to a potentiometer, and and then and then you will get an adjustable sine wave generator. And of course, you can you can make uh, any wave types out of it with um, additional integrated circuits, and so. So it's 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 on your imagination, but I think that musically, this is the most useful waveform. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.